know why the keto diet works and why it works so well? My name's Kelly and I've lost 36 inches and 30 pounds going keto. And in this video, I'm gonna talk about why I think and why I know keto works so well, particularly for women age 40 plus. Tune in to learn more. Hey guys, welcome back. Welcome to, I was about to say coffee talk with Kelly, but it's keto talk with Kelly because I'm here in my Florida room, in my house, I call it my Florida room. That's what I call rooms like this that are not an outdoor porch, but they are they kind of seem like a, a screened in porch, but they're not. That seems very weird what I just said. <laughs> I realized that. And it's actually one of my favorite rooms in this house. And uh, I will be showing you guys more details on it on my blog. Um, I'm gonna be covering a lot more of the uh, home decoration progress, uh, things that I'm gonna be doing with this house over kellyalexa.com. Um, it's a little harder to cover that. Well, I'm sure that I'll cover some of it on video, um, but I am gonna be covering a lot more home decor stuff over on the blog on kellyalexa.com. So um, it's definitely not gonna be strictly, um, I'm also just letting you know, I'm growing my hair out and you're gonna see me futzing with my hair probably a lot more than normal. It's at a very awkward stage right now. I think you guys are just used to that. I'm always futzing with my hair. Um, but yeah, um, so this room is just, I don't know if you can see, it's just, let me turn this around, just off the kitchen. So in a way, this is like, this is an odd room. It's like, what is this room? What was this room originally intended for? I, I really don't know. Um, the people that lived here before us, you know, I've seen um, house pictures where this was set up as an office. Um, some other people had it set up just like where they just had a bunch of their kids um, toys in here. Thank God I don't have kids. Um, why am I doing this? Crunching ice, it's so rude. But anyway, when we moved in here, when we decided we were getting this house, I just remember thinking, this is exactly what I wanted. I wanted, I'll show you a little peek. These two big, these two big uh, Z gallery chairs. I have the ottoman here. Of course, I had to cover the ottoman with um, this, this, this throw because that's where Bijan likes to go. And then I just recently bought those shelves um, from Living Spaces. And um, then that table is also from Z Gallery. We'll be getting rid of these tables. I have uh, the matching set. I bought those, the whole set, this and, and the coffee table. We're gonna be getting rid of that um, and replacing it with restoration hardware, I think. I don't know why I'd never been in restoration hardware until last summer. And then when I went in, I suddenly understood what the trouble was all about, what people were like raving about restoration hardware. That place is like sent from God. Okay, I'm gonna shut up now and stop talking about house stuff. And we're gonna talk about keto. Maybe we'll just talk about why my hair is so dry today. Not. But here's the thing. I do not mean to crunch ice. I'm really sorry about that. I wanted to talk to you guys today about really the simple premise, and this is strictly my opinion, but here I am almost a year, a year after. I mean, it, it's coming up, gosh, a week from now. It'll be a year ago that I went keto. Um, I should weigh myself again just to see where I'm at, but I'm pretty sure I'm, I'm at the same place, 36 inches um, down, 30. In other words, I don't think I've, I've lost a significant additional amount of weight. Um, I think now that I'm working out again and, and really focusing on incorporating more fasting, I'll be covering that in coming up videos, upcoming videos. Um, make sure you're tuned up on that. I'll be talking a lot about fasting. I'm learning a lot about, um, a lot more about fasting. I've always known about the power of fasting, but I'm learning a lot more 
um, about extended fasting and, and the impact it can have um, not only on weight loss, but on our um, overall health, well-being, chronic disease, just everything. So I am definitely going to be incorporating a lot more just tweaking how I'm using fasting um, in, in my dietary approach. I'll put it that way. Um, I'm, I'm listening to some great books. It's just fascinating. So make sure you're tuned in, subscribed, and that you've got notifications turned on. Let me know what questions you have so that I can answer those as well. Always leave those in the comments for me. Um, but here I am a year, a year in, a year out, whatever you want to call it, from going keto, having lost 36 inches and 30 pounds, and you know, just easily maintaining this weight loss after having been stuck and being so frustrated for so long on where I was before, where I was um, constantly, you know, dieting and working out and not able to make the needle move in any way, shape or form. You know, I was working out six days a week, sometimes two times a day um, in a caloric deficit constantly. And I couldn't lose weight no matter what I did for all those years. And so what I'm going to tell you is my opinion on why, you know, based on what, what my gut tells me and based on also what I know to be true from what my doctor has told me, what I know to be true from what I'm learning and, and studying right now. Like why, if you're, if you're tuning into me and you're a woman 40 plus, or, you know, of course, if you're a little younger, that's okay. It doesn't mean that this is only true for women 40 plus, but it's particularly true for women 40 plus. Um, if you're tuning in and you're like, why does this work? You know, this isn't just um, a, a, a working because it's a diet and, and, you know, you can pick any diet that works. Sorry. Um, Keto works because let me just let me just reinforce for you guys this idea that before before I was keto, I was doing I was working out six days a week. I was at sixteen hundred calories. I was even um, what's it carb cycling. I was. Uh, fasting, you know, 24, I was doing 24, I was incorporating 24 hour fasts, one, even two times a week on a regular basis. So I was doing low carb days, high carb days, calorie cycling, carb cycling, doing fasting in a caloric deficit and eating, you know, whole foods, organic foods. And I didn't lose any weight and I was working out six days a week and training with a really badass trainer at, at Gold's Gym. And then after doing a reverse diet where I was at 2,200, 2,500 calories, barely working out for almost all the time that I was doing a reverse diet. And I, I only gained like three or four pounds in all that time. Then I, then I started going on a diet, 1,600 calories, keto, hardly working out at all, and the weight just fell off. What, if you compare those two things, what does that tell you? 1,600 calories, 1,600 calories. Eating lots of protein, barely any protein. I don't want to say barely any protein. I eat 50, you know, both, both meals all have some protein, but it's just moderate protein. But over here, I was like trying to shove down so much protein, like, like I'd always been taught, you know, five meals a day, 30 grams of protein at every meal, have protein shakes, proteins, um, protein pancakes, protein bars. You've got to have 150 grams of protein. It's all about protein, building muscle. You need to have protein, 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 protein. Um, over here, I have two meals a day and I have just whatever amount of protein I want to have at that meal. Um, so over here, working out six days a week. Over here, not because I intended to, not because I was trying to. It just, it just happened to be that way. I hardly worked out at all. I'm only now getting back to working out. But, but just for comparison's sake, 
Here I was working out six days a week. Here I hardly worked out at all. Here, um, lots of lots of carbs if I'm if I'm keeping it real. I didn't think I was eating lots of carbs because I wasn't eating a lot of bread, but I was having a lot of rice, a lot of quinoa, a lot of uh, acai bowls, a lot of um, grains, a lot of um, berries. Um, a lot of insulin response inducing foods. Um, you know, I started out every day because my trainer at the time told me to um, with a acai protein smoothie bowl. You know, lots of protein, lots of carbs, lots of insulin producing response foods. Over here, zero to none insulin producing response foods. Um, over here, I. I still had insulin resistance, didn't really realize it, wasn't addressing it. Over here, I do still have insulin resistance, but I'm addressing it and I'm eating according to knowing I have insulin resistance and the weight is falling off because I'm eating according to knowing I have insulin resistance. And that, my friends, is why keto works. This is why it's so brilliant for women age 40 plus. Why? Because from what I know, and I'm paraphrasing here, the vast majority of, of women age 40 plus are going into perimenopause. From what I know and from what I've heard, again, don't, don't hold me to the fire on this. The vast majority of women who are going into perimenopause, menopause, postmenopause, I am now postmenopause, um, have some degree of insulin resistance. Um, the, d the data is coming out more and more now to support that, that more women who are going, their hormones are starting to change and they develop some degree of insulin resistance. Some will get it more to more of a, a crazy degree like me than others. If you have insulin resistance, you will develop the inability to lose weight. That is when you can get into weight loss resistance like I was. That's when this diet approach is optimal optimal. And I'm living, walking, breathing proof. If you are sitting watching this video going, that sounds like bullshit, then I dare you to try to poke holes in my story and tell me what my life and, and the last two years, how, how can you say that everything about what my life is illustrating could say anything different? If you've been, if you've been a, a fan, a follower, watching my YouTube channel, if you're just discovering me and you've maybe gone back and found out, you know, watch some of my stuff, then you know, you know that I'm this Kelly Alexa girl who's been a fitness fanatic, loves working out, loves training, founded a fitness company, loves everything about fitness. But, you know, I was the girl that you never saw from, from, you know, here down. You never saw me doing full body anything. You would never see an Instagram picture of my full body. I always had people asking me on YouTube, Kelly, can you do a full body workout? You know, show us, show us, you know, your leg, show us. And I would just laugh and be like, I'm never going to show you my full body. People always thought I was so much more fit than I was. I knew, you know, and I, I and I'm also probably, I know I had a, a, a had have a degree of body dysmorphia. Like I saw when all those years I was 20 to 30 pounds over the weight that I am now, that is not as heavy as, um, you, you know, like 20 to 30 pounds overweight is overweight. I viewed it as I, you know, I was just disgusting. I was horrible. I mean, I just viewed it as like, I was the Stay Puff Marshmallow Man. That's body dysmorphia. That's um, seeing yourself as huge when you're you're not huge. You're, so, but that's you know, women can de develop this fixation with their bodies and being overweight and see themselves in a in a way that is is crazy. Um, I recognize that, but it is what it is. That's just. I'm just being transparent in, in how I viewed myself, how I saw myself. Um, and, and, and yet now I'm so comfortable in my body. I 
can look at myself in a full length mirror and I sometimes I'm still shocked. I, 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 people will make comments to me and say, oh my God, you know, you're so tiny, you're getting so skinny, you don't have any fat on your body. And I'm like, like, I literally don't know who they're, I think they're talking to somebody else because my whole life, no one said those types of comments to me. Certainly people haven't been calling me fat or anything, but n I've never been the girl that people were like, oh, you're so skinny, um, or oh, you're getting so skinny, or oh, you're just getting tinier every time I see you. No, like I was not that girl. I was always the curvy girl, the, the person who was more like Kim Kardashian, you know? And it wasn't, it wasn't popular to look like Kim Kardashian when I was growing up. Trust me, it was not at all popular at all. Um, so I can tell you again, just to go back to the point I was just making that I am walking proof that this is like the one thing that can be the true panacea for women who are in the perimenopause, menopause, postmenopause phase of life, who are in that time where they can't find anything to work when it comes to weight loss. And I can tell you that you can be obsessing about your hypothyroidism, just like I was for years and wondering, you know, reading, reading up and Googling and reading all these books about hypothyroidism and adrenal fatigue, like I did. I was obsessing about all of these things with hormones, but I was focusing on the wrong thing because now what I've learned is it has to do with the two eyes, inflammation and insulin resistance. And if you focus on decreasing those two things, and guess what? The keto approach to eating does, does, that, does that so brilliantly. Keto and fasting does that brilliantly. And the more that I learn, the more I realize like, these two things are like your biggest secret weapons. And here's the other funny thing I, w I will say. Um, like, like that's my first major point that I want to say to everybody watching this video is you, you need to know that number one, like this is, this is legit, the secret weapon. It absolutely works. While some people will think just like I did back in the day that it's a fad diet, it's just another fad diet. It's been around forever. It is legitimately an approach to eating that can be a lifestyle choice. I've been doing this for a year and I haven't cheated and I'm fine with it. Um, it works. Why does it work? I hope what I've just shared in the first part of this video is a good enough introduction for you to think, to, to have an, a, a, a small understanding of why it works. Um, it has to do with your hormones. It most specifically has to do with insulin resistance. And when you, when you understand insulin resistance and what causes, you know, your body to be in a bad state around insulin resistance and what foods cause the bad insulin response, you get that eating the keto way is basically like the, the best cure for that. I, I understood that so quickly. The first week I was eating keto, I was like, wow, you're literally removing everything that causes inf inflammation, everything that causes a, you know, like raising your blood sugar. It, you're just naturally taking that away. And then it's like your body just sighs a breath of relief and says, okay, I'm going to let go. I'm going to, I'm going to let you lose weight. And, and that's exactly what happens. Like once my body breathed that sigh of relief, I started losing weight and it never stopped. And it's the best feeling ever. So part one is I want you to know that it works. It works like a charm. Number two, why it works. And number three, like you should not be even thinking twice about waiting to try this. You should not be thinking like, well, let me keep, let me keep trying running and Weight Watchers. Let me keep trying, you know, like I just talked to so many women 
who are in their 40s and 50s and they just, they've been at doing the same thing. Like they keep trying this and that. And I, you know, I just see like they're not making any headway. And, and I, I was that girl too for a while. I just kept hiring different trainers and looking for a different diet. And, and it finally took a good friend of mine, Whitney Jones, to push me and push me and go, you need to get some blood work done. You need to get your hormones straightened out, you know, and then that was my first step was to get on bioidentical hormones. And then I, you know, just to, to stop. My first step was to stop. I had to get my head out of this, the place of thinking that this was strictly a fitness problem. And that is usually with the women that I coach one-on-one. -on -one. Um, quite often, that's the first reason that women hire me is women who are completely lost in the area of hormones. Like they're, they start to realize like, wait a second, I think that maybe I should not be on the pill at, at age 51 and maybe I need my hormones. Maybe I should be on progesterone or something, but they, they know they're not being treated well. They're seeing an OB and the, their OB is giving them, they're starting to see that their OB is telling them to like go on Xanax or they maybe have asked for blood work and their, their OB is like, why do you think you need blood work? Or they've asked about bioidenticals and their OB's like, oh no, that causes cancer, something stupid like that. Um, so a lot of times the way that I'll start working with women is just coaching them on this very confusing area of, you know, starting to get your hormone situation in line. And it's not that I do that work. I'm obviously not a doctor. I just help women like understand this whole confusing area because it's not mainstream. And, and <laughs> it was my friend, Whitney Jones, who got me go, you know, understanding like, Hey girl, the reason your body is not working is not a fitness situation. You are nearing, you're 40 years old. Your body is changing. It's your hormones. And you need somebody who understands hormones, not a trainer to look at you. And I was like, I kept thinking I could fix myself. And that's what so many women think. So when you're in your forties and your body starts to fight you and you can't lose weight, this is the time when you need to understand that. So if you fall into that category, number one, FYI, let me throw that out there. You might want to think about having a consult with me. Um, typically most women will come to me and, and do kind of like one consult where we, I answer all their questions. We get them hooked up with either my doctor or um, another doctor. Um, we get them hooked up with um, a really good blood work provider, which I have a connection with. It'll save you a lot of money. Um, and then we get them on the right track where they're going to have that part of their life, their hormones taken care of. Because once that's in alignment, then all the weight loss stuff will work a lot better. If you just start doing um, keto without being, you know, addressing your hormones, to be honest with you, um, like when you're in your 40 plus age, age range, there's, there's probably 10% of women who can maybe just float through perimenopause, menopause and all that stuff and not have any problems. Um, maybe there's 20% of women that could do it. I don't know what the percentages are. I'm just guessing, but most women need to have their hormones addressed and and most women will have a problem with weight loss. Most women are going to have a problem with all of these other things. So that's why I recommend um, if you if you're totally confused about that, you know, let me help you. Um, but if you are on the right track with that, um, that's when the other part of things, the keto and the fasting, will work brilliantly for you. And that's also where I come in. You know, I've got. I've got my keto boot camp, a five day online keto boot camp. We just finished our beta group. So my five day online keto boot camp, that new course will go live next week. If you're interested in that, of course, you know, I'll have the link uh, that I'll be able to provide for that. But if you're interested in getting on the waiting list for that, um, comment down below. I've also got my keto cookbook. 
um, that's got like 52 plus recipes. They're just easy recipes for meals um, that helped me. I mean, these are meals that I make on a regular basis that helped me lose, you know, the 36 pounds, um, sorry, 36 inches, 30 pounds. Um, and then I also do one-on-one -on -one coaching for people that don't want to, you know, do like the group situation. And um, some people want, want more private one-on-one -on -one attention. So I do that as well. Um, but I just want you to know that this keto thing, even though sometimes it, it gets grouped in with Atkins and people think that it, like I did, that it is this trendy thing and, and you don't need it. And, and there's a lot of people in the fitness industry out there going, oh, the body needs carbs, don't do keto. You know, you don't need to do keto. Like I see a lot of people talking like that and it pisses me off because there's so much misinformation. The general public might not need to do keto, but women age 40 plus who are in these hormonal years, guess what? The vast majority of you will benefit greatly from going keto and doing keto with fasting. And trust me, you will have an exceptional experience doing it. And I, I, I invite you to do it with me, whether it's private one-on-one -on -one coaching or joining my, my keto boot camp. Um, every single woman that I have worked with, whether it's one-on-one -on -one or in my groups, um, has lost 25 plus pounds um, and has also had a much easier time than they thought that they could. So um, I encourage you to rethink keto because it is not, it's not the fad that you thought it was. That's all I got to say for today, you guys. Um, I will let you go um, at the end of this um, at the end of this video, we're gonna have uh, links up to some playlists, sorry, my playlist. Uh, there's a playlist that I have here on my YouTube channel with just over a dozen, I think we've got more than 18 uh, videos on the keto topic for you to um, check out. And of course, I will link down below my free keto quick start guide, my keto cookbook. Um, I don't yet have the link to my keto, my five day online keto bootcamp because we just wrapped up the uh, beta. But again, down below, if you are interested in getting on the waiting list for when we first go live with that, um, five-day keto boot camp, which will be right after the Memorial Day holiday, holiday. Um, you can comment below because the people that get on the waiting list first before it goes live will get a complimentary half an hour consult with me. Um, so that is a uh, tremendous value. That's a $250 value um, that you will get for free. So comment down below if you would like that as well. Um, and that's all I got for today. You guys, thank you so much for tuning in. And of course, uh, make sure you're subscribed. Make sure you hit the notification button so that you can be uh, notified whenever we put a new video out. We are releasing four new videos a week now. Aren't you excited? And then lastly, just let me know in the comments below what questions specifically I can answer for you uh, in upcoming videos on keto. I'm happy to do so. You guys have a great rest of the day. Remember, you are just one change away from a fantastically improved tomorrow.